Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. 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 But to just give a backstory about my relationship with NCT, which is pretty much non-existence. <laughs> so basically, back in the day, I think it was like 2018 or 2019. Like I always mention about this time frame when I first get into K-pop. When I first really get into K-pop was that time frame, and my Spotify randomly started to play Boom. By NCT Dream, and I actually really liked it and I loved it. And back then, I didn't know what NCT was, so I was like, "Oh, what is this group? I really am a fan of that song." So I was like, "Let me get into, so let me search who this group is." And then when I first look up, there was NCT Dream, NCT U, NCT One to Seven, and just to be honest, let's just say the overall concept as well as the number of the group and the members were a bit too overwhelming. For me to actually go into the rabbit hole of NCT, but having said that, this year, so I started my YouTube channel this year, and and I really started to get into creating this reaction contents ever since I reacted to Hyunjin's performance video earlier this year, and ever since then I started to discover more about the boy group, Astro to begin with, 80s, 70s. Big Bang, and I have been actually quite enjoying it. But so far, I've been only discovering, you know, my new favorite songs from each group. And I do have a couple of good friends who stand K-pop as much as I do, and they love NCT. And they quite often send me the links to the music video or the performance, or send me the picture of the members that they like. So I was thinking, I can't possibly end 2021 without. Actually, getting to know NCT as a YouTuber who makes K-pop reaction video. So here we are. I will be reacting to NCT Dream, NCT U, and NCT One to Seven, and Wavy, but in a separate video for each groups, each units. Um, I will be posting each videos in next couple of days as I find a time to edit everything. So please make sure to check those. Videos out as well in the future, and also I didn't want to be disrespectful, so I did a bit of research prior to filming this video, and I watched a guide to NCT on YouTube, and I learned quite a bit about each unit and the concepts. However, I'm not still familiar with the names, so I won't be able to refer to members with the names. I'm only familiar with Mark, Taeyeon, and Ten. That's it. Just so you guys know. But as I move on with these reaction videos, I will be sharing about bits and pieces of information that I learned. I'm quite fresh, so if there was any wrong information that I'm talking about, please make sure to correct me in the comments. Also, if there's any additional information that you think I should know, please share. I would really appreciate it, and I'm keen to learn about the group. Okay, so that was a bit of long intro. I'm sorry for rambling on, but this one is going to be NCT Dream. So let's just get started. All right, so NCT Dream. I know that they're composed of youngest members. I know Mark was in there, but he's no longer with them, and they changed the concept of graduation. So now they have the permanent members of this group. That's pretty much all I know. I'm assuming, and by the look of the thumbnail. I'm pretty sure this is going to be very cute and bubbly and young boys concept, and that's not the song that I'm usually drawn to. So honestly, I don't even know how it's going to turn out. It came out in 2016. That's quite a while ago. Because I only know their recent visuals. I wonder how they look like back in 2016. It'll be interesting. Let's find out. Oh, they look so. I mean, they are young. Is that Mark? Oh my god, they look like a baby. It's so cute, though. Wait, so Boom was by NCT Dream, so they performed Boom. 
I mean, they did, I know that, because that's a city dream. But whoa, the concept though, they really went for the cute. I mean, they, they look like a baby. <laughs> wow, I love the shoes. How old were they? they were, were they like 13 and 14? It's very... I love the editing though. I'm a bit confused now. <laughs> It feels very... I don't know the word, to be honest. Was that guy in the center? Like who was tied up? Was he from NCT as well? Wow, the grow up though. How like I will talk after the music video. Why is this kind of iconic? <laughs> and that recommendation is boom. <laughs> they look completely different. Um, what did I just watch? <laughs> the song is very iconic and catchy. <laughs> Was it like that? Wow, they look like a baby though. Did I use a word weird while I was reacting? I mean, that's what I felt, weird. It feels weird because I'm kind of used to seeing grown-up idols. For example, Astro, SF9, BTS, T by T, and Nipen. I'm quite familiar with Nipen. You know, Nikki is still 16, he just turned 16. But he looks quite mature. But here, in City Dream, how old were they? Were they? How old were they? <laughs> they looked like 12 or 13 years old. But the reason why I said weird is because the quality that they bring in, it's SM, so I would assume it can't look cheap. But they look polished, so polished considering how young they look. I hope what I'm saying is not offensive. What I'm feeling is very impressed. Feeling. And I'm not gonna lie, I quite like that song. It's not the music video I would specifically go back and watch, but it would be the song I might be listening quite often. I'm sorry, I'm just like really caught off guard with the fact that they look so young in the video. It's not a bad thing. I'm not saying I'm not against the fact that they did look so young. I'm just surprised. I didn't expect them to looking so young. <laughs> All right, I don't mean to keep rambling on, so let's get going. Next one, I'm so excited for the next one now. So this one is We Go Up. Okay, so this one came out three years ago. And by the look of thumbnail, I'm assuming, even though this is, this can be cheerful, bright, but 
they wouldn't look as young as they looked in chewing gum. To those of you who doesn't know my music taste, I'm quite into mellow music. And aesthetic speaking, the first scene I'm looking at now, this kind of looks like it's going to be mellow. I will, I will take back what I said earlier about this music video to be colorful and cheerful. But, okay, shut up. <laughs> Let's watch it and find out, all right? So this is We Go Up by NCT Dream. Oh, is it going to be mellow? No. But I wasn't expecting this edge after chewing gum. Ooh, he looks good. Whoa. I really am caught off guard. It's such a cute music video, I like the color scheme. Ooh. I like this chorus. It's chorus, right? So catchy. Oh, that's such a pretty music video. I like that bits and pieces, bits and pieces of different sound that they're using. I really like this part as well. Oh, he, Mark looks very good with the black hair. <laughs> they look like such cool kids. Like friends I wish I had in high school. I mean, my friends were cool, but you know what I mean. I like a bit of this mellow vibe in the melody. Ooh, who is this in the center? I like his visual. Ooh, I like this mellow vibe. <laughs> oh, come on, Mark. So cool. I love this song. Hundred percent going into my playlist. Oh, it's ending. It's hundred percent type of the song. I don't want it to end. It feels so good. We go, uh, 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 uh. like you can't help but to sing along. It's such a good song. It's so catchy. And I really like the mixture of, it, it does look happy, and I think that's what In City Dream is supposed to be representing, like the happy, colorful vibe, and it is happy, colorful vibe, but I like the hint of melancholic, mellow vibe, like right up my alley, I really liked it. But my question is, why didn't I find this song after listening to Boom, which I really loved? No one knows the answer to that question. <laughs> Alright, let's get on to the next one. The third one that I'm reacting to is Riding, okay? I wonder if this is going to be the vibe that they're going, keep going for. Riding, so it came out a year ago, but the thumbnail looks nothing like chewing gum. I don't know if they're gonna be sticking around to that very cute concept, but the only way to find out is to watch it. So this is Riding by NCT Dream. The thumbnail teaser looked very dark and bad boy. 
Wait, this is in City Dream, right? Same group as Boom? Interesting. So this is after Mark left, right? And one thing I want to know is like, who is this guy? I really like his visual. Let me know in the comment section. I like the edge he's giving. Like, it doesn't look like the same group as the chewing gum. The growth. in the center mm. they like that sound huh mm. okay Okay, I will talk after watching the music video. Like, it's like they're constantly growing as a human being. Really like the pre chorus. Mm. <laughs> I, I really like that part. <laughs> like these kind of parts that they put. In the song I really like. like a bit of melancholic, mellow. Let's but you know there's gonna be something strong after. Oh, that stare. Oh my god, I'm feeling the same way as we go out. I didn't want it to end. Oh, I was not expecting me to like and city dream this much like i want to go back in the time machine and slot myself back in the day like right after i discovered boom like i didn't continue to listen to their songs i just should have because all the songs are bop like how like why am i liking everything <laughs> so confusing but what's confusing is their growth i mean i guess it makes sense so the first one was a 28 so it does make sense after five years people do grow up i was quite shook about when i first discovered crazy sexy cool and baby by astro how cute they were and they turn into mature male in all night and also blue flame but with nct dream they didn't really go for mature male pheromone vibe but still like they were giving us a bad boy bad boy vibe and the growth between Chewing gum to ride in is just mind blowing. They grew up so much. To be honest, I kind of wish I knew them back then in 2016, so I would have seen all these growth and then enjoyed all the concept. This is this is always happening. Like I'm too late. I'm so late to catch up 
with the K-pop game. But there's no point to regret, so let's keep on going and discover more about NCT. I'm so intrigued right now. So the last one by NCT Dream is going to be Hello Future, which just came out five months ago. So this is from this year, obviously. And the thumbnail looks like something a little bit more playful compared to Raiden. I love the CG. Looks like a video game. I'm sorry, is that Mark? Is he back? Okay, that's it. that's something I didn't know. I didn't know he was back. Okay, that would be interesting. Oh, that's cool. Okay, what concept are they doing? Okay. I'm so lost with what's going on in the video. Okay. So pretty. Why do I like it so much? Oh my god, that looks so cool. Who is this? That's like the same guy, right? It's like men in black. I just like this melody in the background. Oh. oh, he looks so good. I like his people. It's so cheerful. But it's not too cute, even though the whole thing is very cute and bubbly. Oh, I really like this concept. Compared to riding. See, like this melancholic feel, like they do really well. Oh, it hits so good. So five months ago, it came out in summer. I wish I knew. <laughs> oh my god, I, like I said, it's the same thing, I don't want it to end. Was this, was this the album cover? That's so cute. Okay, now I actually realize I know Hot Sauce and I just found out Hot Sauce was also by NCT Dream and I knew Mark was in Hot Sauce. So I guess he's back from this year. Please correct me or put right information in the comment section. Anyways, um, this has been a journey. I'm so glad I did this before the end of the year. I love NCT Dream. I mean, I knew I liked Boom by them, like I said earlier, but I didn't expect all the songs to be this good. Like, it's 
everything is bop and it just feels good like especially bridge now i think about it i think i really like the outro of all the songs that i just listened to it just feels very good and it makes you want to dance and sing along and you don't want it to end like i need to find another way to explain this but it's the best way to explain how i'm feeling right now it's just like you don't want it to end which means i will definitely putting these songs into my playlist and then keeping it on repeat for sure and i think out of these four songs my favorite is hello future i really liked how cute it was but still very elevated you know sm is going for a very future futuristic avatar alien concept and i think they did it really tastefully in this music video men in black concept and they were looking up on the ufo i think there was a ufo i believe i'm not sure i need to go back and watch it again but and what I'm saying is like I really like the fusion of cuteness, melancholic feel, but cool kids and bad boy at the same time. What writing for me was going full on bad boy vibe, but I really prefer Hello Future when they mix a bit of cute concept. Maybe that's because I was expecting it from this MCT dream. After studying and learning that they are supposed to be representing, you know, colorful, cheerful youth. Hello Future felt it was doing that in the best way possible, in my opinion. But yeah, that's my first reaction to NCT Dream. I quite enjoyed it. If there was any other songs that you recommend other than Hot Sauce and Boom, please comment down below and let me know. I would love to discover more songs from this group. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video, please put a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It would really, really help out my channel. So yeah, please do so. And like I mentioned earlier, I will be reacting other NCT units. Please stay tuned and I will see you in my next videos. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Happy holiday. Bye guys.